Hello and welcome to our continuing adventures on the Let's Defend platform. Today we are tackling from February 28th, 2022 at 4.12 a.m. SOC 168 or Who Am I? Command detected in request body. Event ID is 118. Type is a web attack. So the Who Am I command is typically run to get some sort of idea as to what account you are. Not generally something you typically see from normal administration, unless there's a question as to, okay, is this command prompt elevated to, you know, root? Or is this terminal command running as root? Is this terminal actually running with admin privileges on the Windows side? Or has it been escalated all the way up the system? Like through PS exec, whatever the case is going to be in regards to that. Although I guess, you know, you could have been working on something and then you're coming back and checking, so. But in the body of a web request, that seems suspicious as all get out. So let's go ahead and take a look at the log management. I've already dumped in the destination IP, which is our, the internal system. Let's take a look at this. Uh, so looking at the video, post permitted, decent size response size, 200 code. Okay, so they were able to sit there and run LS against the existing video directory by the looks of it uh, okay who am I again 200 so it was successful permitted what else we got going on here and then they're doing you name so I'll probably grab a couple of for the notes section like one or some articles that cover who am I I think I've got one for LS already from a previous exercise. You name and the rest. Okay, uh, yep. And they're basically trying to get the passwd file to be concatenated out. And that was successful. And then they're doing the same thing with the shadow file, which I think passwd is usernames and shadow is the encrypted uh, portions of the passwords and you got to do a little bit of magic with what is it John the Ripper in order to put the two together and then you can start brute forcing stuff and that looks like that worked or actually was successful as well with a 200 status code so effectively we can consider we don't have does or we don't have record of anything being uploaded, but we do have record that we can consider the username and passwords on this system as compromised. They've effectively gone out the front door. Uh, let's take a look. This is another web server, and it is a Ubuntu box. So the cat etc password and cat etc shadow files are legitimate commands. So we can consider this just at risk. I'm going to do host containment because of the fact that we can consider it breached with the passwords out even though nothing has happened yet. Uh, let's see. So browser history, Docker, name cheap. Okay, nothing there that stands out. And of course, it's the command history that is the bigger issue. I will have to go through and grab the log files that are responsible for the other aspects. Okay, but we have confirmation that the commands indeed were run. Uh, this is that traffic. There's nothing that does or has anything to do with this. Cat was run as root. You name who am I LS Yeah, so if they're running as root, that means yeah, that's that stuff went out the door. Hooray. Ah. <laughs> uh... OK, 
give me a moment. I am cleaning up my logs here. We don't have SSHD, so the SSH daemon was not. Yeah. So it looks like they've done a decent amount of recon. <laughs> And that's actually a fairly good alert trigger, unlike the last exercise that was done that just triggered because of the LS in the word skills tripped to make it think that um, just by including the word skills in the search that it was actually trying to run the LS command to view directory contents. Not good. Not good at all. And so I am just effectively grabbing this material and just adding it into my notes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause to keep this down, but in fact I'm just going to go through all these again, copy and paste, dump them into my notepad++ document for this particular exercise so I can have everything put together in the event I need to refer back to something. It happens. So I'm going to go ahead and Pause and be right back. Okay, got that all captured. Okay. Um, and then let's go ahead and take a look at the source address. The 61.177.172.87. So, oh, China net. Hooray, China. <laughs> Uh, so let's see, VT has got 5 out of 92, Talos has got it with the questionable web rep, OTX, telemetry in the past seven days, brute force, honeypot, inside of 50 pulses, jeez, somebody's been busy. Another one, China Net Backbone, scanning IPs 100%, bots 100%, risk 10, so highest score, abuse was reported 39,083 times. Confidence of abuse is 100%. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, you don't want to call that 99%? for dang near 39k reports but and then nothing really for the open tip but it's not surprising okay so yeah so i guess let's go ahead and take ownership of this sucker and let's start working our way through it's definitely command injection Come on. Let's run through what we got. Understand why the alert was triggered, because we have apparently a Chinese IP address. Found a videos folder on web server 1004 and was sitting there running commands through it. LS. Who am I? You name. And then cat for etc shadow and cat for etc password. Or passwd. So I think that... Collect data. Yes, ownership. Well, we've looked at the web rep. We have that. 
have looked in technically all three. Boom. Yeah, command injection. Is it malicious? Yes. It is command injection. Is it a plant test? No, because there are no emails for 2022 until I believe it's June. And we are still dealing with the end of February, so that is not planned. What is the direction that is internet to company, right? Yes, source destination. Check whether it was successful. Yes, it was. Does it need to go to S? Well, we've already done containment. One step ahead. I probably still have the tech going in there. P address. Yeah, this is. Backbone. Backbone. Does it need to go? Yes, because it's been attacked. Zero zero four. This flow commands injected slash from. Okay, so we go back to the endpoint. What was the the command history? I'm just gonna grab these and we'll just dump that in there. Take out the. There. Just copy that because I'm sure. Yep. Okay. Finish playbook. Yep. 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 So they've got timestamps as well. Close the alert. This is a true positive. We'll just paste back in the same thing that we put in for the note. And we will close the alert. And what do we get? Another one for 100% correct? I always love to see it. <laughs> good, 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 good. Again, another one that's sub-15 minutes, assuming I don't ramble on then. So, <laughs> I like these short ones. Um, so, there we go. That has been for February 28th, 2022 at 4.12 a.m. SOC 168. Who am I? Command detected in request body. Event ID is 118. Type is web attack. And, as always, I will see everyone in the next video.